Okay, yeah. so where's your real mom? I have no idea. I think I was 12 the last time I like talked to her or saw her. Why do you think your mom hasn't contacted you since you were 12? I don't know. She would always like fall off the face of the earth and then she'd be like, surprise, I'm back. She'd be invited to your wedding one day? No. Cicely, how does somebody from Denver end up coming to Heartlight? What was going on in your life that, that somebody would say, hey, you need to go spend some time at Heartlight? Um, there was a lot of parent conflict with me. Wow. A lot of like, because my dad and I are super close. And then my mom and I, like, we go through waves. Like, we'll be close. And then, like, we won't talk to each other. And then we'll be close. And so I just, like, finally got to the point where it was, like, too much for both of us. Wow. And we were constantly fighting, not talking to each other. And then one day my dad was like, you're going somewhere. And we pulled up to Heartlight and I was like, oh, okay. I, I mean, was it, was that a big surprise to no. you? I mean, I mean, the, the thing with your mom and it, why weren't you guys talking? What, what was going on that, that there was a disconnect? Um, for a while, it was always like, I wanted to be right and she wanted to be right. Yeah. And now it's just like gotten to the point where like, we're both really stubborn and we're really alike. But once we got past that, like... Our relationship has been so good. Like, this is the best it's ever been. Wow. So the challenge will be, how do you keep the relationship going, going. when you go back home and have to live with her? Because <laughs> everybody can get along fine yeah. with people when you're living at a distance is when you go back home, right? Yeah. Okay, so other conflict happening before you before you came here? Oh, was it just a mom and you deal? I kind mean, was, of. My biological mom's not in my life at all. Oh, And so, so there was a little bit of that. Okay, so you're adopted. Kind of, not really. It's You're, my stepmom, but I call her my mom because she's raised me, like, my whole life. Oh, okay. Okay, now I get it. Okay, yeah. so where's your real mom? I have no idea. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you haven't talked to her or anything? mm, -mm. She'll, like, like, DM me on social media, but, like, I don't really care. And so how old were you when she left? Like, I think I was 12 the last time I, like, talked to her or saw her. Yeah. Well, you think that has something to do with the way that you and your stepmom gets along? A little bit. I think there was a lot of resentment towards, like, me resenting my mom, and it, like, got brought out on her, and her, like, resenting my mom, too, and it got taken out on me, too. So it was both of us, like, taking stuff out on each other Wow. that we just never, like, we always just pushed it under the rug. Okay, so let me, the, the million-dollar question. Why do you think your mom hasn't contacted you since you were 12? Um. That seems kind of kind odd of to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really know. Like, I don't know. She would always like fall off the face of the earth and then she'd be like, surprise, I'm back. And then it finally just got to the point where I was like, I can't do this. And so that's where you kind of said, okay, let's stop. Yeah. Do you think, I, I, you know, I think a step parent's role is probably one of the hardest roles for anybody to be My in. My mom always says that. Because it reminds, it, it reminds you of what's not there. Yeah. You know, do you ever think back, well, if my mom was, if, if my birth mom, my real mom was really all straightened out and good, then, then I would have been a lot better off. You ever think that? Mm, not really. Sometimes, mm. but I've learned more from my stepmom than I have my mom. Do you think your stepmom tried real hard to be your, to be your real mom? Um, I think for a little bit, but she always made it clear to me, like, if I want a relationship with my mom, I can always have that. Yeah. But I always wanted a relationship with her because I knew it was, like, steady. She was always going to be there. And, like, I could rely on her more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yet she was the one you were having conflict with. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I mean, the one the one that you really long to be with is the one that you're that struggling with I'm always with fighting with. Okay. So, like a typical family, did that put your dad in the middle where he got kind of caught trying <laughs> yeah. to support you, the daughter he loves, and support his new wife, mm -hmm. the, you know, the woman that he loves. He's got two women he's caught in between. Did he get stuck? Yeah. We definitely gave him a run for his money. <laughs> yeah. If he was saying, this is why I sent her away, what would he say? Um, Probably, like, parent conflict and, like, because for so long I wanted to ignore my problem with my biological mom and, mm. like, not really, like, deal with it. Yeah. And I think they only wanted to help me with that. But I just wasn't willing to do it. And wow. then once I got here and like I started realizing the bigger picture and I was in like a better headspace, I was able to like really look at everything. 
Okay, so do you think that that uh, that there's issues of abandonment that you feel? Mm, for a little bit, I thought that, and then I didn't think that, and now I think like sometimes I feel like I've been abandoned by her, but at the same time, like I feel like I kind of made that choice too to have her not be in my life. You think she ever will be? No. You're pretty set on that. Yeah. Just because it causes turmoil. It causes so much more problems, and like there's always drama. There's just not there's not consistency, and like that's all I want. She be invited to your wedding one day? No. Wow, wow. Yeah. But your stepmom will be there. Yep. Okay, now that's interesting because that's one you're having conflict with, but that's the one that you want. <laughs> yeah. I mean that is kind of funny, but it's kind of neat. It shows a real love that you have for her. Yeah. But you guys are like two donkeys, kind of just kind of kicking it out with one another. Yeah. Stubborn as anything. Okay, how would you describe your relationship with your dad? We're like best friends. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that had to be hard for him. Oh, yeah. To send you off. Oh, yeah. And so how did he tell you? Um, well, it was like, at first he told me and he was like, we're going to go to this school in Texas and like, it's going to help us because we can't get the help we need here. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I know it was coming. Because I saw the Heartlight papers and I was like, okay. But we also had a family friend who came here too. And so, like, I knew a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, my mom wasn't going to come with us at all because, like, we were just not on good terms and it was going to make things wow. worse. And so then my dad and I were, like, together and he was like, what do you think about it? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't think there's anything I can say that's going to, like, change y'all's mind. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So did you feel like you were abandoned again? Um... Yes and no. I think it more felt like my parents were giving up. But now that I, like, see it, like, this has helped me so much. Wow. And it's helped my family so much. Yeah. So is there a fear about going back home? Mm, not really. Maybe, like, when I get closer to the end, maybe yeah, there yeah. will be. But yeah. wow. no. I've just seen it. It's helped, like, my brothers, too. Like, even on phone time when, like, they're fighting in the back, like, I can hear my parents are not, like so quick to just yell at them yeah or they're like we're all just like more lax so they're changing a little bit too yeah okay so you get to heart light start your program getting through stuff here what's been the greatest struggle for you to be here i don't know i think i'm so close with like my siblings and stuff like that mm. that it's hard to be away from them and like feel like i'm missing out on that but yeah i think probably also fighting those internal battles do you feel like you are missing out sometimes yeah when you think about that, does it make your lip quiver or? Yeah. I mean, when you think about that, is it is it one of those tearful things that yeah. really is sad that you're missing it? Yeah, because I have three little brothers, a younger sister, and then an older brother. Oh, wow. And so, like, my little sister, she's one. So it's hard to, like, know, like, I'm missing out on that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's got to be tough. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I mean... When you get back home, it won't be the conflict, and you'll be able yeah. to take twice as much, uh, have twice as much fun, and you'll be twice as good <laughs> influence on them. Yeah. You know, if, and um, but I can see where it would be tough. Yeah. Okay, so what are you learning at Heartlight? I mean, it can't just be the separation <laughs> from things. Probably. It's got to be some learning, uh, you know, through something in group meetings and counseling and all the other stuff. Yeah. What are you learning? I think I always saw it like, well, I. Like, I'm by myself. Like, this is my own battle. Though, like, I'm having conflict with someone else, like, it doesn't involve them. Mm. But I've really learned, like, even when I can't support myself, there's always, like, someone there who's going to be fighting for me when I can't. And I'm less stubborn, so that's good. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think because I've really, like, learned really fast that, like, I'm not always right. I'm going to be wrong a lot. and I think Really? Okay, wait, wait. Say that again. <laughs> say that again because I think your parents would want to, your dad would want to hear that. Just say that. Hey, dad, I'm not always right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I'm i falling in love with you. I mean, I just, <laughs> I, I, I go, it's kind of neat that, that you have a tender heart toward your family. Yeah. And uh, there's something real beautiful about that, that that's going to be a motivating factor and one day you're going to look at Heartlight and it's just going to be a bump in the road and you get, you guys are all going to sit around and laugh about it. Yeah. And, uh, but thank you so much for coming in and Thanks. sharing your heart and talking <laughs> a little bit about your family and what you've been through and stuff. I know people are going to enjoy watching this and hearing about you. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.